In a single year, 75 million NASCAR fans watch cars race on television, and millions more attend the races. In the Daytona 500, cars can go around a two and a half mile oval track 200 times. NASCAR drivers average speeds of over 170 miles per hour. In a Formula One race, this Ferrari has to go both fast and slowly along the narrow winding streets. Roaring down a straightaway, the Ferrari can go over 170 miles per hour. But on a hairpin curve, the car has to slow down to 30 miles per hour or it will spin out of control. An Indianapolis 500 car has a 750 horsepower engine just behind the driver. Indy cars can go over 250 miles per hour on the long straightways in the race. Seven crew members change all four tires and refuel the car in less than 20 seconds. Track cars race side by side. Their track is only one quarter of a mile long. Some drag racing cars can reach 300 miles per hour in less than four seconds. These cars are so fast that they need a parachute to help them stop. Look at the parachutes on this car. In order to stop, they have to send out these parachutes at the end of the race. The fastest car in the world is the Thrust SSC. Here it is. Like a jet airplane, it can travel faster than the speed of sound. Once it reached a speed of over 763 miles per hour on a special track in the Nevada desert. Look at it again, the fastest car in the world. Engineers test the safety of cars by crashing them into barriers. They study what damage happens to dummies inside the car. That's not a person, it's a dummy. Modern cars have seat belts and airbags to help prevent injury in a car crash. But good driver training and good roads are also important for safety. Governments pass laws to try to cut down pollution caused by cars. Electric cars run on batteries and they may be one answer to less pollution. Cars have changed the way the world looks and moves. My book, Cool Cars.